Guys, something happened this morning that I can't get off my mind, and it's very atypical for us to do this type of video, but I felt compelled to do it. So this morning, sometime in the morning hours, maybe 8, 8 a.m. or so, uh, a B-17 bomber crashed at an airport, I believe, in Connecticut. This bomber is special in a lot of ways, but what makes it special to me was that I actually got to spend many days with the crew and the people who flew those bombers uh, this summer. We actually filmed a video doing that. We have not published or edited it yet. Um, it's still in the queue, but I just thought it would be worth making a quick video to show my support to the Callings Foundation. Uh, we actually had a chance to fly on the B-24 Liberator Witchcraft and we were able to film which was great. I got to talk to some of the pilots, the chief engineers and spend a lot of quality time with them. The flight coordinator, she was wonderful and uh, I actually got to do a lot of flying with that group of people and I can tell you that the entire foundation that runs that organization is an amazing group of people and what they do for the general public is incredible. You'll see that when we get around to editing the video that we put together uh, at their event, which we did in Kalispell, Montana, uh, around 4th of July. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that to be flying on, on historic World War II aircraft on the 4th of July. We got to meet several veterans who were over 100 years old, who were Rosie the Riveters, bombers, gunners, pilots, and that organization was powerful. We saw many people shedding tears as they got to kind of relive some of the memories from their parents or grandparents. There were people bringing log books and photographs and memoirs and things of their now deceased family members who fought in World War II and flew those aircraft and, and did missions in those aircraft. So I wanted to share uh, just a word of support, first of all, for the Callings Foundation. If you don't know who they are, give them a look, go to their website, just Google it, Callings Foundation, you can't miss it. There's so much more than just a few World War II airplanes, but this museum that they put together is a living museum. They fly these airplanes all around the United States all year long and they bring them to some of the most rural parts of the country and it's amazing how many veterans are still alive and have stories to share and memories that we can all benefit from and their families are bringing those people out to see these airplanes and they're even taking them for flights which is just incredible. I got to see uh, a former P-51 pilot that I believe was in his 90s fly their P-51 dual control Mustang and the smile on his face when he got done was just incredible. The other thing I do want to share is it's still early. This video I hope will be out there for a little while, but it's very early and I think that the media sensationalizes plane crashes. Um, I think whatever happened to the pilots, uh, there's something tragic happened. I can tell you that the media needs to get all the facts before people start jumping to conclusions. But I also want to share as a fellow pilot that they go through a tremendous amount of training to fly these aircraft. These are not modern airliners that have a bunch of autopilots and things. There's a very competent pilot behind these aircraft. And whatever happened to that airplane, I'm, I'm uh, absolutely certain that the pilots did everything they could to try to get that plane back on the ground safely. I actually got to spend over an hour with one of the B-24 pilots and learn the training process that they go through to fly those crazy big old bombers. So what I'm encouraging you to do is wait until all the facts come out before you jump to conclusions and spread rumors. What you can do in the meantime is show some support. They have a Facebook page, they have made a post uh, basically saying that they're trying to figure out what's going on, they're working with the airport authorities, they're trying to figure out what's happening. This was a couple of hours ago, this is how fast the internet works these days. So in the meantime, while all the facts do come out, maybe the number of people aboard, if there's any fatalities, hopefully not, but if there's any injuries and, and how severe they are. While we're waiting for all that information, try to go find the Callings Foundation Facebook page. If you can't do anything else, just show support for this family. It's a family of people who are keeping these aircraft flying, they're traveling the country, and if you want to, if you feel compelled to, we did. We spent quite a bit of money supporting the foundation. We feel really passionate that these aren't just 
airplanes, their history, and seeing the people that were compelled to come out and, and spend time with these airplanes told us that this is more than just a piece of metal and you know some tires. There's some, some real stories in life here and keeping those airplanes flying is important. I know that the foundation will use the money that we gave them wisely, however they choose to do it. So if you feel compelled to support them financially, um, go to their website. I know there's ways that you can contribute. I, I realize this is a tragic event, uh, but I just know that they're going to need a lot of support to get through this for the families, um, for the pilots, for the mechanics, and anybody that was on board the aircraft. And, uh, you know, who knows at this point whether the aircraft is salvageable or not. It may not be. But that's probably the least of all concerns, making sure that the people who are on board that airplane uh, are in the best condition possible. So I just wanted to put this out there. In case you don't know who the Callings Foundation is, go give them a look. We're excited to share the video that we created. Um, that airplane that crashed is going to be in that video. So that just, it just tells me how precious those moments are when we have them. They're fleeting. We were actually on the fence about whether to even go get involved. And at this moment in time, I'm glad that we did. So look forward to that video sometime later on our channel. Um, we hope it really is true to the meaning of the foundation and true to the pilots who flew those airplanes and uh, really does honor and respect uh, everything that the foundation is about. Thanks for watching this video. Um, again, try to go give them support. Don't jump to conclusions and look forward to seeing the video that we create from our experience on that airplane.